I'm Susan Epperly. Welcome to another edition of our Clinical Massage Therapy Vlog. This vlog entry comes from an article that I wrote for our August 2009 email newsletter. This article was the third installment of our Need Some Answers series. You can read other installments of Need Some Answers by visiting the archived newsletter page of our website, which you'll see below. Or you can respond to the content of this vlog by going to our Facebook fan page at the address below, clicking on the Discussions tab, and selecting the discussion topic titled, Avoiding the Dreaded Massage Hangover. The question is, sometimes, after a really deep massage, I may feel a little under the weather for the rest of the day. Why do I sometimes feel this way, and is there anything I can do to avoid it? This is a really important question to answer for your clients. Their understanding of what's going on with their body after a massage will help them have more confidence in you as their therapist and will ensure that they don't think they're having an unusual or unexpected reaction to the massage. What we like to tell our clients is this. After you have a really deep massage, it's important to take it easy. As we discussed in installments of one and two of Need Some Answers, dissolving trigger points in muscles results in the release of metabolic wastes. Having that metabolic waste circulating its way through your bloodstream can make you feel dizzy, nauseous, loopy, and generally yucky. This phenomenon is what many refer to as a massage hangover. Drinking plenty of water is one of the best ways to avoid or relieve this feeling. The sooner the metabolic waste is flushed out, the sooner this feeling should subside. But it's also important for you to avoid pushing yourself after a very deep massage. Slow down, relax, just be. Allow yourself this opportunity to remember that you're a human being, not a human doing. While this massage hangover phenomenon may trouble you for a few hours after a very deep massage, we believe the longer term benefits of trigger point therapy to be well worth it. Thanks for joining us for this edition of our Clinical Massage Therapy Vlog. Be sure to join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, where we discuss all kinds of topics related to the practice and business of clinical massage therapy. And to keep updated on new vlog entries, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you'll find by searching for Tiger Lily Studios, with no spaces, on YouTube. Be well and keep in touch.